Hello, and welcome to my video presentation on the 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter from Spectrum. In front of us is a box in which the video transmitter is packaged. There is, uh, I have the labeling uh, facing us, uh, so the labeling gives us vital information regarding the operation of the video transmitter. So the labeling gives us, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually lift it up and bring it up a little bit closer so that we can kind of get an idea of what's on, so you can clearly see what the labeling is. So the labeling gives us the frequencies, voltage needed to power the transmitter, weight, voltage to power the camera, and the antenna type connection. So for example, uh, it tells us that we have five frequencies that we can use uh, with this video transmitter. So you have A, B, E, F, and race band. We have the minimum and maximum range of voltage needed to power the camera. Of the minimum is seven volts to a maximum of 24 volts that we can use to power the video transmitter. This is probably the best information to know. Uh, you cannot power it from the five volt output on your PDB. You most likely will connect it to your 12 volt output on your power distribution board to be safe. Given the range of voltage, you probably can run cables direct from your battery depending on your battery's output voltage. But my preference is to run it from the 12 volt output on my power distribution board. But, you know, I, I like the fact that it can handle a maximum of 24 volts, which is good. LiPo batteries, uh, usually when fully charged, they are putting out more voltage than what is specified on the labeling. For example, I have a 4S 14.8 volt battery uh, and it puts out a maximum of 16 volts when charged. So just a little tidbit of information there for you to have. The other important information is the camera's voltage, the voltage output for your camera. So the transmitter is giving the camera 5 volts. So basically, you don't have to run any cables to the PDB to power the camera. You can basically, this video transmitter uh, will connect directly to your camera, whatever connections to it, it will automatically power it. The other important information is the type of antenna connection is SMA. So that's good to know uh, to make sure that you have the right uh, connection type or at least purchase the right connection type uh, to go with the uh, when you get your antenna to go with the video transmitter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this back down and the next thing to do is to uh, actually open up the box and see what the video transmitter looks like and at least what they have packaged in, inside the box. So here's the actual receiver. Turn it a little bit closer. And then uh, there's the other side of it. So it actually tells you here uh, to press where to press the button at. I guess if you want to change channels. And, uh, and you actually have, let's see here. You can see there. Those are, oops, the glare there. Connection. So you got your power ground, audio, video, ground, and your voltage. You actually got a little uh, display right here. This gives you the numbers. So what channel, what band you're on. Uh, the connector at the end. This connector here is actually going to go to your camera. So this is connected to go to camera. One of these will go to I assume the red is power. I assume the black is your ground, which is going to go to your power distribution board. And you can probably run it off your 12 volt if you have a 12 volt uh, step down on your PDF, or you can run, I guess, off your flight control depending if it has a 12 volt. And this is your, probably your audio, uh, assuming if you have audio capabilities, which uh, I probably will not need because I don't have that on mine. They also give you this extra connector here I guess if you want to connect them uh, to the back of this but 
I'm not going to use it. But uh, I guess you have the option if you want to do that. But that's uh, what it looks like. So it's pretty clear, clean. So I'm going to open up the manual. And uh, actually, you can download the good thing. You can actually download the manual yourself online. You can go to Horizon Hobby. They have the manual list there. Or you can go to Spectrum's website personally. And you can get the manual uh, there. So... So you will notice that uh, it's beeping here, at least uh, blinking. And pull out the instructions and it says here that there are two numbers repeatedly indicating it is locked. So as long as it's flashing, it tells you that it's locked. Uh, the number with the dot is the selected band. So the number with the dot, so you see the dot pops up. So we're on band one. And the second number is the channel. So to uh, unlock if you press and hold there you go so you see the dot is gone so that's uh, the channel so we're on channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 channel 5 channel 6 7 8 and back to 1 so we're gonna go ahead and lock one in so as you see it's now you have the dot behind it and it's just that simple with this at least so we're going to go ahead and lock that back in so it went back to blink again so that's how you know that it's locked so we're on uh channel one band one is what our video transmitter is uh transmitting out on but uh so far uh it seems to work fine uh trying it with my goggles and i do get a, a video uh, to my goggles, so so we'll test it out and we'll see how well it works Thank you for watching my uh, video presentation